Are you struggling with sacroiliac joint pain? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you the three best exercises to give you instant pain relief. Check it out. Hey there, my name's Simon from Hogan and Mitchell, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you three exercises, which are the best three things to do if you have sacroiliac joint pain. So, let's check them out. All right, so in today's video, I've got Kelly with me. Say hi, Kelly. <laughs> and we are going to be looking at where the sacroiliac joint is on a real human bit. So if Kelly turns the face away for us. So the sacrum is the firm bit here at the top of the butt crack. And we, if we find Kelly's ilium, we're going to find one on the right and one on the left. Now if you're not sure, excuse me Kelly, if you're not sure, you're just going to feel and rub with your thumb like this and you will feel the ilium, so that's the pelvic bone. And it arcs through here and if you press in this area, you'll feel like a knobbly hard bit. And that is your sacroiliac joint. So you have a right sacroiliac joint and a left sacroiliac joint. Now, well, I'm going to show you three exercises to try and give you some pain relief. These are going to give you some instant pain relief, but they will not cure it. For that, you'll have to watch another video. So, check out these three exercises. Let's go for it. Okay, so here we go. Exercise number one. So with this first exercise, the aim is to use some leverage through the length of your thigh to try and give your joint some movement. Now, the sacroiliac joint often gets accused of being locked up and twisted. It's normally because muscles around it have kind of held it stiff. It can feel good to move it, but once it's moved, you always need to get it stronger. And if you keep on feeling, despite how strong you get it, that it still feels like you need to click it all the time, then there's probably something else causing that muscle tension. Now, the first exercise is this. So Kelly, if you hug your knee, so if you basically hold your leg like this with your elbow straight, and then what you're going to do with your thigh is push the thigh away from you, and then what will happen is you will feel some tension building up, both around the thigh and in the butt. You push about six seconds, so if you stop now, so you push about six seconds, and after that, what you can try and do is bring your knee towards your chest, and then you can try pushing again, so push the thigh away from you with your hands resisting. And relax. So that's the first exercise. If you get a click or a pop, don't panic, all right? It's a fairly normal thing to happen. If you don't get a click or pop, don't panic either, that's absolutely fine. So it's really just to try and give that joint some kind of stimulus and input, and it can be really helpful in terms of settling acute pain down. So, exercise number two. Now this is from a muscle called the piriformis, and the piriformis runs from the hip out here, and it runs through to the sacrum. And if it's really tight and restrictive, for whatever reason that may be, it can influence how the sacroiliac joint moves. So all this is is attempt to stretch it, nothing more. So Kelly, if you bring your knee up towards you to about 90 degrees, and then what we're gonna do is turn Kelly's leg. With her near hand, she's going to hug around that leg, and with the second hand, she's gonna grab down here by her ankle. Now, the instruction is you're trying to bring this knee, the inside of this knee, across you towards the opposite side of your chest. So if you do that for me, Kelly, perfectly, and then you just hold that there and you're not trying to do anything else. Now the goal is just to try and get a range similar to that Kelly has here. You can increase it by pulling a bit more through this outer part, so through the ankle here, and ultimately you should feel the stretch here in the rear part of your buttock. All right, so if you come out of that, and that is exercise number two. All right, so exercise number three. So exercise number three is just to try and again, use some leverage to try and make the muscles relax around your lower back and into the sacroiliac joint region so the joint can start to move more normally. It might be that you start off with a restricted range on this, so you just move a small amount, but as you feel comfortable to, go all the way through. So there's sort of two parts to this. So with the first one, if you just put your feet together, Kelly, so with the first one, what I'm gonna ask her to do is bring her knees over towards me. So her knees are gonna fall across towards me, and her head, if you can, you look to the opposite side. You then come back to the middle, and you repeat the same the other way. So you let your legs go away, and then come over towards me. So it's called a knee rolls or lumbar rotation, and you would alternate sides back and forth. Nice and free, don't tense up, breathe normally, and allow that movement to occur. Now the second part to this is you can apply a bit more leverage. 
So with all of these exercises, we've been assuming that it is a right-sided problem, but for all sacroiliac joint problems, you should always test both sides. Remember, your pelvis is a ring, so you should all be looking at relative symmetry through there. It's quite normal for bones to be different and feel different, but in terms of the muscle's ability to do things, we pretty much want symmetry. So if Kelly straightens this leg down onto the mat, and if she bends this one up to about 90 degrees, and then with her opposite hand, grabs the outer part here, perfect. So from here, what she's gonna do with her arm is she's gonna lever her leg over towards this side. What you'll see is that this whole area through her lower back and into her pelvis rotates through. So this is getting a really good stretch. Once you're there, you just stay there. Stay there for around 10, 20 seconds. And don't stay there enormously long time. And you're just breathing in, in and out. And then when you're done, you just return your leg back to the middle and then just put your leg back down. So there you have it. Three exercises to instantly relieve some of your SI joint pain. Now, there are three extra tips that I wanna to give to you. Number one is get your joint mobile. And we're using the three exercises you've done in this video, you'll be able to tick that box. But the key things are these other two. So the second tip I wanna give you is change some of your habits. And I'll be talking about in another video you can click on at the end. And the third thing I wanna say is that for long-term sacroiliac joint pain relief, you need to get stronger. And for that, you'll have to watch another video. So I hope you found this useful. If you have, like and comment below, ask us any questions and we will get back to you. And just do a favor for me and click this button over here and click subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.